guys, today I'm filming my fall beauty haul for September. I have got so much stuff here. And then I've got some things from Sephora, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, a few random products, and my Sephora Play for the month. So we are just going to jump right on in. I am loving the sweater I'm wearing today. I got it from H&M. It was relatively inexpensive. It's a really pretty olive color. And I was excited to wear something besides a black t-shirt in a video. And you know, it matches my eyeshadows, my nails. You guys know I'm very tacky with my matchy matchy. I just like, y'all, I don't know what I'm doing with clothes and with, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. So I just match everything like a very tacky lady, but I love the way this sweater looks. I am so freaking hot right now. I'm sweating. So I'm going to do my best to just get through this video so I can take this sweater off. So we're going to start with the things that I got from Ulta. Wow, I'm sweating so much right now, I cannot even. So I had gotten a coupon for $10 off a $35 purchase, so I decided to purchase two. I think both of these products are online only. I got something from Zoeva, which I haven't tried before. I have a couple palettes on my wish list that I'm going to save for a 4,000 points haul, which hopefully I'll be able to do next month. I'm just, I'm like this close on points. So, wow, I'm sweating so bad. I, you guys are gonna get sick of hearing me say that. So this is the Coral Spectrum Blush Palette, which looks like this. It's very pretty, definitely very, very pretty, but I have shades very similar. I don't know that I would love this color, so I am actually gonna return this one untouched. I would love to try the formula, but I just know I have shades so, so similar, so I'm not gonna keep this one. So I'm a little bummed by that, but you know, if I didn't order it, I wouldn't be able to see it in person because they don't sell these products in store yet. So I'm sad about that. And so I don't know how much was taken off of each product, which is a shame. I won't know until I return that palette to know what kind of a discount I'm actually getting on this next product, which is a Dose of Color Seamless Beauty Sponge. Jackie Ina used this in a video and loved, loved it. So I'm not gonna open this one yet. I really need, like I said, I need to see how much of a discount was taken off of this because Mm, no, I guess, no. Do I want this if it's only 20% off? Because this is, this is a $15 sponge. I don't know. We'll see what I end up doing. But yeah, I'm bummed. I don't like this blush palette. It's not that I don't like it. I just already have the color. So I'm a little bummed by that. We'll see what I end up doing with this order. But both of those would have been really cool. And then lastly, I made an in-store purchase. I had a $5 off $15 coupon. So I did purchase the Morphe and a Jeffree Star sponge trio, which was $16. And I'm very fortunate where I live. I probably, between where I live and where I work, there are five Altas, which is amazing, right? So I called all five of them to find out which one still had both of these freebie products available in store. And I did find one, which was fantastic. So I did get another of the Flossy Purity Cleanser and another of the Kate Somerville Exfoliate Treatment. So I think I'm gonna end up keeping this, but maybe putting this in a giveaway because I do have another one of these in my collection. So I don't need too, too many of them. Then I have a couple things from Sephora and they randomly had some products on sale. And I did purchase this palette. I believe it's normally $60, maybe 65. Mm, probably 60 actually and it was on sale for $38.35 so random I know and that's still expensive like I'm still paid like 40 bucks for this palette this is gonna throw off my camera yeah it sure is there goes my lighting so this is the Too Faced Natural Lust palette the colors are very beautiful I've used this a couple different times now I'm gonna return it. The mattes are pretty good. I don't love all the colors of the mattes. They seem like very cool toned mattes with very warm toned shimmers. The shimmers seem like they have like a hard layer on the top that you really kind of have to dig through to get to some good product. They're very pretty shades, but they don't like pick up a lot of pigment on the brush. So I feel like I have to really layer and layer and layer up the shadows. So because this is still freaking 40 bucks, I'm gonna return it. Now, this might be something in the future where if it went 50% off, I'd consider it. I was able to use a little coupon code with that purchase. And this is a little mini of the Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur Blush in Mauve Sunrise. This is a new formula to them. I'm very interested in the coral shade. They're very expensive though, but I'm excited to try out this formula. This is a great winter shade. So those are all the things that I got from Sephora. Now I actually have five things I found at TJ Maxx and Marshall, which is a lot for me. I follow Leah Janae and Leora for their TJ Maxx videos and then based on what they find is when I choose to go to my stores or not. 
I have a Marshalls that's pretty close to me that is very good. The TJ Maxx stores are not very close to me. There's one that's kind of close to work that's not good. It kind of just depends on which Ulta I'm going to. Sometimes they have some stores around there, but really like the TJ Maxx where my sister lives is the best and then the Marshalls where I live is the best. So I'll have her look for some things for me at TJ Maxx. I know she did buy one thing for me. I just haven't been able to go back to my parents' house to get it from her. So I'll show that to you guys probably next month. So this first thing I found was super exciting. This is the Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow Set and All Fired Up. So I did recently mention that I don't need to have new liquid eyeshadows because I don't use them very much. And it's true that I don't, but this was normally $25 on sale for 10 which is amazing. And these are colors I'm actually going to wear, I believe so. I mean, the shades are very wearable for me. So we've got these three beautiful warm tone shades here. We have Sunset Fire, Follow the Sun, and Burnish Sienna, which I think are all like exclusive to this set and great little mini. So I'm very excited to have these. And it's such an amazing, amazing price. So the next item is something I found months ago. I didn't buy it because it had a little tiny swatch in it and then I never saw it again and I really wished I had purchased it. But then I did find it which was amazing and I was surprised because again I saw it months ago. And this is the Laura Geller Beach Matte Baked Hydrating Bronzer in the shade Siesta Medium and this was only $5.99 at Marshalls which is an amazing price. From time to time, they do restock some of the Laura Geller products. I'm still looking for the Mattifying Primer because it's my sister's favorite and I would love to get her a backup. And the Laura Geller products have been such amazing price at TJ Maxx and Marshall. So anyway, I have not used this one yet, but I am very excited to. It's such, like look how fat and big the lid is and how small the product is. There's not a brush in here or anything, so it's very unnecessary, but that's Laura Geller for you. Then I decided to purchase something that I've seen time and time and time again. This is one of the Anastasia Single Eyeshadows in the shade Wine, and it was only $4, and their singles retail for $10, so I thought that was a great price. And this is a beautiful orangey copper color, and I thought I had a million things similar to this, but I did look up a bunch of different swatch comparisons on Tim Talia's website, and I saw that this was actually somewhat unique to my collection. Every time I've seen this shadow, it's been swatched. And it's swatched now because I swatch it, but like it was untouched in store. And I actually found this the same day I found the Laura Geller bronzer. So it was a great day for me. So a really beautiful shade that is really metallic. And it looks like your typical copper, but it actually does pick up a lot of that orange tone on the lid. And I'm very excited to use this more and put it with the rest of my amazing Anastasia single shadows. Then I did purchase one of the Lime Crime Velveteens. I do have a few other shades in my collection. This is on sale for $5.99 and I think these are normally $20. So that's a great price. They have had a bunch of the metallics, which I'm not interested in. And then they've had a couple of random shades, but they had this whole collection there on sale. And this is the shade Trinity, which is a beautiful purple pink color. And I'll swatch it right next to Coco K from Kylie. So it's right there. That's so pretty, right up my alley. A great color for either spring or winter time. I know I'm gonna get some good use out of it and I do like the Lime Crime formula. And again, from $20 to six is a fantastic price. So I'm gonna keep my eye open for some more shades, but I don't need to go crazy. And the last thing is something I told you guys I was contemplating repurchasing and I decided to. This is the Urban Decay Afterglow Highlighter in the shade Sin and once again this was $10. And I mentioned this in my summer favorites that I've really fallen in love with this highlight. It's beautiful. I found one that was untouched which is great because they have started restocking these a little bit at some of my stores but most of them are swatched. So I found one untouched. This is one of my favorite highlighters now. It's such an amazing shade and a really good formula. And because it was discontinued and I'm, I feel like I can actually hit pan relatively soon on mine, I wanted to get a backup of this. I don't get backups of highlighters because highlighter is a product that I, I'm not obsessed with. And again, I have so many different ones. I don't need a backup, but yeah, I, I do. I love this one that much. So I'm really happy to have that. So that's everything from TJ Maxx. But speaking of backups, I did also purchase from eBay for $5 a backup of the Maybelline 
lasting drama eyeliner in the shade striking copper which is a new holy grail favorite of mine and i'm very happy to have this back up the packaging itself is like a little beat up and that kind of skeeved me out and made me scared at first but i can see that the liner is completely untouched and that is what matters most to me but i think that amazon has it for a relatively decent price as well from maybelline so you know it will be a reputable seller but very happy to have a backup of that so my next purchase is very random i actually placed this order on august 16th but it took a while to arrive and I'm pretty sure I got it like a few days after I filmed my August haul. So this is a full size of the Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer in the shade number two. I took a little quiz on the Benefit website and I was able to get this full size product for $6. And basically the product was for free. You just had to pay for shipping, which was $5.95. And I I for sure thought it was gonna be the mini size. It is the full size concealer, which is probably around 20 bucks or maybe more than that, I don't know. And I got it for $6. It's so cute, looks like a little eraser. I'm hoping the shade will not be too dark for me. If it is, I do have lighter concealers that I can mix with it, but I'm super excited to have this. It's a really nice size wand. It's not as big as a Tarte Shape Tape, but it's a little bigger than some other wands or like a typical doe foot. So we'll see if it's too dark for me. I maybe should have gone with the shade number one, but either way, I will make the color work for me and I thought that was an amazing amazing deal that's like a quarter of the price so that was something I'm very excited to try out I have not used that one yet and then I did get some amazing full-size product from pinch me box to review and this is a full-size concealer from number seven this is the lift and luminate triple action serum concealer and this is in the shade fair i actually have the number seven lift and luminate like serum for your skin and i think it's amazing so i was really excited to try this concealer because i've been wanting a more light coverage concealer because since my eyes are so runny it's very easy for me to mess up my under eye makeup so i thought maybe if i go with something a little bit more lightweight it will be better for me. So I've used this once so far and I did really like it. So I'm excited to get more use out of this. And right before I received this, I was thinking of buying the Too Faced Born This Way original concealer because that's been showing up at TJ Maxx. My friend Jean told me she did not like it at all. So I figured if I'm trying out something different, something more lightweight, something a little bit more dewy or more natural, I should just go with something free first. So I am very excited to try this out. I will give you more of my thoughts for sure. But, and this does have like a standard doe foot wand, so this is smaller than the Benefit one, but this was really nice the first time I tried it. So I am definitely excited to get some more use out of this. So lastly, we've got my Sephora Play for September. It's a good box. I'm not disappointed in it necessarily. I'm not the most jazzed for it, but I will get use out of everything, so that's good. I am gonna get my $10 worth. When I saw all the different products that you could potentially get in your box, there were things I would have been more excited for, but who knows how all those products pair together in the different box variations, so overall, I'm like fine with it. So this month, blue bag, it's cute that they change up the colors, but as I tell y'all, I don't use these bags that go into trash. So the freebie product of the month for me was the Victor and Rolf Magic Sage and Spell Perfume. I do not like any Victor and Rolf perfumes. Although I may be using one right now, I don't know. In general, these are way too strong for me to use. I don't like Flower Bomb, I don't like Spice Bomb. So we'll see what I think of that one. Then my hair product, Lord have mercy. This is the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. So many YouTubers swear by this. So many YouTubers are sponsored by this company, but I believe that they genuinely like this hair product. For me, it makes my hair dry, girl. This ain't conditioning, and I don't get it, y'all. I do not know why this doesn't work for me, but like, I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use it up, it'll be fine. It doesn't do anything bad for my hair, but it doesn't necessarily do anything great. I wouldn't say it's super hydrating, but I can use it up. My skincare product this month is the Belief True Cream Moisturizing Balm, which is probably one of my favorite nighttime moisturizers. I'm not that picky about the nighttime, but I do really love this one. And the Aqua Balm is like holy grail daytime moisturizer, but I'm very happy to have another of these. I will happily use that up. Then we've got my three makeup products. So my sister and I got the same box this month. We did last month as well. I'm glad we have good stuff because we can't trade when we have the same box. However, 
The next product is the Benefit Gimme Brow Gel. And you guys, I have filled out my profile with my hair color, but they gave me freaking 4.5 neutral deep brown. Y'all, I know my roots are like disgusto right now, but like, I don't have deep brown hair. So I text my sister and I was like, please tell me you got a lighter shade than me. And she did, she got shade number two. So we are gonna be switching. She has dark brown hair. So she usually uses a shade number three though, but she can get away with using this and we're gonna switch colors. This is a product that I love and I'll happily use up a little mini. The next thing is the First Aid Beauty Pores Be Gone Matte Primer. I do have another little mini of this, but I haven't used it yet. So I hope I really love this and I can have a backup. And I'm really excited that my sister got this too because she also has very oily skin and primer is something that she does use every day. So she will actually use that. Then the last thing is the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. And I've used this before and I don't love it. It's not bad but it is not the hypnose drama which is like my favorite mascara of all time but this is something I can and will use up I'm just not like over the moon excited about it so like I said I'm not like the most excited we don't really have like color cosmetics in here but I will actually get use out of everything which is what really matters and I do think it's worth my 10 bucks so guys, I know this was super long because I rambled so much, but I really love talking to you guys about the deals and I love just talking to you guys in general. So I would love to know what you guys picked up this month. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.